Hi everybody, uh, I just wanted to do a weekly review here of the stock market, uh, see what happened between the 12th and the 16th, um, and this is the S&P 500. Um, we might look at the NASDAQ as well, but probably stick to just the S&P 500. Uh, so this is one of the worst weeks we've seen in quite some time. Uh, basically, we see a lot of 6% down, 7% down, Google, uh, Meta down 14% almost. Um, so quite a number of stocks uh, really taking a hit this past week. And I just wanted to look at some of the details uh, behind what happened uh, each day. Um, so we started the week uh, on the 12th here, uh, kind of looking upwards. So a lot of the market was going up. Uh, and then the CPI numbers were released uh, and uh, on the 13th. And you can see here right at 8.30 a.m., uh, things really dropped. And then into the day, uh, things dropped even further. Um, so basically, 13th and 14th, you can kind of see what happened there. So if I were to measure that loss um, right here, you basically have from here to here, about a 5% loss there, and then another from here to here, 2.3%. So most of the loss was actually on Tuesday of this past week. Uh, so you can see most of last week was looking pretty solid. Uh, positive uh, going up here and then uh, uh, you know the week before that maybe down so uh, but basically this past week was really kind of a game changer uh, in terms of what was going on uh, with the market overall so all through July and August was primarily an up month um, you can see that we made a peak right around here uh, which was uh, August 16th uh, and then it dropped so then this drop really does kind of reconfirm uh, what was going on in the mid-August. Uh, so this past week was very important uh, in terms of uh, changing the uptrend that we did see starting here around uh, 9.6. So when we compare drops, we have basically about a 10% drop here, 9.5%, um, let's say. Uh, and then we have of that percentage, about 6.8% was so 7% basically was right here. So this past week is super significant. Um, so we basically are seeing an increase overall in the volatility of the market. Um, basically after COVID, uh, things kind of settled down in this range around uh, June. Um, but then ever since June and uh, July and August, you can kind of see things have definitely picked up uh, 2001 uh, and then 2022. Um, so you can see right here at the peak, um, we kind of dropped in volatility and then suddenly increased in volatility as we started heading down um, right into the start of 2022. So kind of the early warning sign that we saw uh, goes back to 2021 of nine, September. So that's one year ago, uh, almost to the date. Uh, we saw that September was looking kind of down uh, here and then we're kind of continuing on into that uh, even worse range uh, what we're at right now this September as, as opposed to last September. Uh, so the volume chart is particularly interesting. I got a Klinger volume oscillator, Elder Ray index, and a vol regular volume oscillator, and then just a standard volume. So if you look at the standard volume uh, for the week, you can see uh, there's kind of some interesting spikes um, that we saw in here uh, that may or may not uh, be correct. Uh, so here's going back to uh, the MES here, uh, and you can see the S&P 500. So volume is kind of interesting. Uh, you can see peak volume being up in this range here. Um, so actually, even though there was a pretty significant drop here, this was actually kind of uh, lower volume. Uh, today was actually kind of more volume um, than most other days, Friday. Um, so looking back, you can kind of see and compare the volumes. And you can see most of it was negative volume, uh, according to Clinker Oscillator, positive volume here, uh, and then kind of uh, some start of a positive volume at the start of the day, and then negative volume, and then some positive volume at the end of the day, and then negative volume right at the very end. And then Friday, you can see most of it was actually positive near the end of the day, so it just came back um, into some positive volume territory. The Elder Ray Index is another way to look at the volume. So you can see that most of that volume, negative volume, was at the start of the week here, uh, particularly on Tuesday, right? So uh, Monday was still looking like an up day. You can see primarily positive volume here. 
into the start of the day, 9.30 open. Um, this is the SPY we're looking at here, and then negative volume hitting in here. A little bit of positive volume in the middle of the day, uh, heading up into about uh, two o'clock or so. Um, and then negative volume again at the end of the day. So this, this piece here, the, these two pieces here took quite a lot out. This first piece here took about 2.5%. And then the full amount being about 4% to this point, that drop. Um, and then that wasn't even, that was basically the end of the day right there. So uh, uh, so remember, Monday started basically back in here. Um, this is 4 a.m. in the morning, but you got basically start at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9.30 open. Uh, so you can kind of see that there was quite a lot of positive volume right here. You can see that down in here, positive volume on the open right on Monday and then after that it kind of starts to tank down a little bit um, with midday volume being quite high um, on the negative side so you can see right here if you look at that uh, 4.5k down here versus 5.7k so basically some relative value of the volumes um, but uh, you know, in general, most of that most of that negative volume is around uh, 19.5k on the peaks, uh, but uh, you can see uh, that basically it kind of tapered off in general for the day. Uh, same thing here it goes, um, but there was kind of more volume at the end of the day on uh, Tuesday. So basically, you saw Monday was just uh, you know start of the day had some volume in the middle of the day had some volume but uh once you got to tuesday uh there was high volume at the start of the day and you can see the spike at 8 30 um before the open was almost the highest volume of the day uh, for the mes um that was the cpi number there um and then you see uh right here um after the market opened 9 30 uh, that that was also a peak but it was pretty pretty there's some heavy positive volume mixed in here so you can see if you zoom in here on this you can see there was some some positive volume as it dropped but that was pretty much after 8 30 you know it just dropped and then there was some pull back into here but then after that it just started to drop again so it wasn't until about 11.50 that we saw some more positive volume starting to get into the market um, and then you can see after that at one o'clock everything started to drop so that was pretty bad at that point now wednesday and thursday here um you can see basically from the behavior of the price action it was very choppy on wednesday um not really up day not really down day maybe even primarily a down day uh, considering this drop here um, but then right at the end of the day it kind of picked up uh, here so you can see uh, the oscillators well, let me change to a different uh, look here so on the MACD uh, we see a pretty high uh, level for uh, right at the end of the day here on uh, the S&P 500 right uh, it's just it almost is the high for the week um, being the biggest upturn so it's kind of interesting to point out that that was uh, on Wednesday um, there was also a pretty big one on Thursday you can see back here which actually is slightly bigger um, just considering the downtrend that we had here but uh, the stable the stability that we saw after this you know right after this it just dropped so it's kind of more on a uh, Wednesday I would say um, so really what we could say for the week um, is that really Tuesday and then in addition on the MACD you can see these levels of negative 7.2 um, was pretty much the lows for the week right these drops in here so when we look at Thursday uh, and compare that to Friday really Thursday was a worse day um, by uh, quite a bit um, just on the drops here we had quite significant drops that we didn't quite see um, here on Friday right you can see some of the drops but they weren't as significant um, as what we saw uh, on Thursday. Now here's some of the force index, so you can kind of see um, what we saw here. So technically, um, you know, there was still a pretty big drop here on the 14th as well as the 15th. So it was Wednesday, 
maybe technically that there was that big drop um, that we saw, but this there's just more solid volume in these. So this was kind of a quick drop, whereas this is more like a sustained drop um, on Thursday. So technically the force behind it was worse on Wednesday, but uh, the uh, actual total net here on the negative side was worse. Now, interestingly, on Thursday, you can see that this second part didn't quite have the same volume uh, behind it and price movement. Um, so you can kind of, and here you can kind of see that. You can see there's just one spike that kind of took us up here, whereas there's these, you know, four or even five spikes of positivity that took us up on that side. So it is close, though, on Thursday. We kind of have this uh, initial part here with some negativity in here. So it's just kind of a debate uh, looking at these two upward sizes, but certainly this didn't make it to the same level um, as the other one, and that's probably why the price didn't quite match it up here. So here you can kind of see all the average two ranges for all five days. Um, basically, you can see that we kind of had, uh, you know, kind of a lower range, even though we were heading up right on Monday. Um, and so that's maybe one of the reasons why we just didn't see the positivity heading into this uh, down move that would have maybe made it not as serious. And then after this, we saw the average to range kind of just drop in uh, until Thursday. And then Friday, it kind of went up slightly. Now you do see these kind of spikes in the nighttime, 3 a.m. or so, 3 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and then in here, 2 and 3 a.m., kind of heading into the open. Uh, but for the most part, the volatility at nighttime being very low, but you can see kind of a downward trend here, at least uh, on uh, Thursday into Friday. So in terms of the money flow for the week, we see that the positive money flow was primarily on the start of the week. Um, you can see right here, and then actually there was some positive kind of headed uh, on the 14th and even in 15th, uh, this is early hours uh, of the day. But in general, the money flow was pretty negative for the whole week, starting with the start. Um, you can see this is quite low here, and basically on the 13th Tuesday, uh, at 14th, you can also see some negative outflows into here, um, but then it also got up to be pretty positive here. But basically, most of that negative money flow being uh, these two bumps on the 13th. And then on Thursday, you can see after Thursday around 10 o'clock, all this money being negative on the negative side of the money flow. It's pretty interesting to see um, just that after 10 o'clock, it was pretty much downward trend. Um, and even there was a slight upward trend here. You can see this upward trend here, but primarily downward uh, throughout most of this. And this is a pretty positive sign right at the end of the week. You can see starting uh, right around here, nine o'clock in the morning, um, basically we were pretty negative, but we started just, so there's some signs in the money flow where you have a divergence where the money flow looks like it's apparently going up with lower lower lows uh, and higher highs with maybe a couple exceptions in here, but this is pretty significant lower lows, um, kind of giving us a hint that maybe we're gonna see a positive money flow at the end of the day. So anyway, uh, don't be afraid of the complicated charts, uh, complicated indicators, try to use them to your advantage and just see uh, what the details are. You can see uh, primarily uh, a lot of this week was below uh, the zero line of the MACD. Um, you can also see the signal line was pretty low too most of the week. Um, so just resulting in a negative week overall. Um, but right at the end of the week, we did see this positive start. So that's looking pretty good. Um, where that's heading, we don't really know. Maybe right at the very end, we saw some positivity there as well. Um, but uh, who knows uh, to compare it. Anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed the study. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'd be glad to talk over the week with you. See you.